righty. So I have a particular kind of, this is going to be a mix of like a pre-announcement slash speculation. Um, so obviously take, you know, this video with a grain of salt, but we're seeing some pretty concrete information about the next, I guess, in quotations, ride or attraction removal um, from the park. And it's a, it's a big topic because um, if you've seen some of the surveying, which has not come true based off of a 2025 ride, um, but could be true for a 2027 ride. Um, this area of the park is definitely of, you know, speculation of its future. So it's really exciting to see some sort of action take place in the area that that survey was surveying because we saw the other survey about the mountain blast coaster. Um, and now that area is under construction and, you know, obviously going to be our 2025 coaster. But now seeing the other plot of land that was kind of surveyed in those surveys kind of show some signs of construction as well is really interesting. Now, I would definitely say don't jump to conclusions because this is a park that needs a lot of maintenance room and a lot of storage room. Um, so that's also an aspect of what's going on. But I'm jumping ahead. Um, so for those of you that uh, have missed it, uh, it looks like Action Theater could be biting the dust. Now, is the entire building going to get bulldozed? We're not quite sure. But there is definitely, at minimum, selective demolition going on in Action Theater. Now, Action Theater is an attraction that retired a while ago. Um, it currently is the house of one of uh, Wonderland's better haunted houses for Halloween Haunt. Um, Spirit Manor. So outside of that, it is used for Winterfest storage um, and entertainment break room um, and food festival storage. Well, we know that the food festival isn't coming back. However, the one Canada Day festival is. Um, but outside of that, no food festivals will be taking place this year. So that storage won't be necessary, but storage for Winterfest and Halloween Haunt and maintenance is in great need at the park. So what I could technically see, I'm going to list my three options that could be going on, is selective demolition. They are going to bulldoze the inside, remove all the asbestos, which is a really long process, which in turn could be why they're starting so early, and essentially gut it down to just the outside structure of the building and then use it for storage. And they'll build like some giant garage doors, like maintenance garage garage doors um, and use that as a maintenance building or storage building, whatever they choose. So that's option one, um, gutting the entire inside, turning it into maintenance and storage. Option number two is, again, gutting the inside um, and turning it into a dark ride. So that's option two. Option three is complete demolition um, and using this plot of land for the finishing touches of Frontier Canada, including the family GCI coaster. Um, again, Wonderland is currently under a rapid expansion plan, so they've been um, introducing ride roller coasters essentially almost every other year. So you've seen Snoopy's Racing Railway, now we're getting a 2025 coaster, and then I suspect another family coaster in 2027. So prepping this land is 100%. Um, would start early. Again, for those of you that don't know, this is speculation that I'm about to say, but you know, um, Action Theater has asbestos in it. Um, and removing asbestos is a really lengthy process. Essentially, what they're going to do is they got to go in, they got to soak the asbestos, to soak the material they're removing, and then remove a small section, make sure it's not disturbed, and then keep repeating that process. So it's going to take a really long time to do. This is a very old building. Um, it's also raccoon infested from what I've heard. Um, and yeah, so this is a building that Wonderland isn't going to want to keep, to be honest, in terms of guests, having guests inside there, employees inside there, they're not going to want to keep it. So again, at minimum, they're going to be looking to turn this into to maintenance or storage and then either gutting it completely and starting anew or bulldozing it for a future land inside Frontier Canada. I think the option number three is most plausible. Again, um, they do require a big area for that expansion, and the park is under a very large and quick expansion plan. So I 100% could see the park eyeing that. Um, and who knows, maybe that includes a themed hotel down the route. But outside of that, uh, again, the most plausible options are storage, maintenance, dark ride, or future plot of land expansion inside Frontier Canada. Um, those are the only three things that I could see being the case. 
Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. So the reason why we know this is going to be either selective or demolition is PDI Presley is on site. And that is the company that has essentially demolished everything that has been demolished at Canada's Wonderland. Ex um, Extreme Skyflyer, Sky Rider, the buildings in Elpin. Um, and yeah, uh, so again, this is, this is exciting. Uh, I know a lot of people are sad. I find it exciting. I love the future development of Canada's Wonderland and just seeing and knowing that our park is under such a rapid development is really exciting to me. So yes, it's, a, it's, it's sad to lose a piece of history, but it's really exciting to see the park develop into this massive destination park that they're aiming for. Anyways, that's all I have to say on this subject. As of now, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this building and this plot of land. Um, don't expect this is not going to be for the 2025 coaster. Um, if anything, it's going to be for our 2027 coaster. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.